Okay, this is an RCA uh, model number 46LA45RQ, uh, pretty much common LCD television. Basically what's happening is, as you can see, uh, we do have a red standby light, uh, but when we hit the power button, uh, there's no change. Uh, it's supposed to change to blue, so what we'll do, we'll take the back off and we'll do a troubleshooting procedure to find out uh, where the problem lies. Okay, so actually the first thing that you really want to check on a set like this, uh, which have, has gotten me a few times, uh, so I'm, I'm trying to remind myself to check that first, is to check the actual keypad and make sure that the power button is functioning. And I'm going to show you how to do that uh, because we, of course, we have standby voltage because we have a red light. So we want to make sure that the power button is actually telling the main board to turn the set on. Okay, so we'll start with that. So what we do is we'll actually, this is the control pad here on the side with the buttons right here. I don't know if you can see that pretty good right here and each of the buttons on the side here. And we'll take a look at this, gr this gray wire, okay, which should be going to the main board. So we'll follow that gray wire uh, to the main board. Okay, all right, so here's the gray wire coming from the keypad uh, right here, and uh, it's going right here. These plug right here, these first uh, couple connections are coming from the keypad. So, what we want to do is we want to put our uh, turn our meter to uh, DC volts and we want to check and see if it's getting any change in voltage. Okay, so I'll try to let you see that there. Um, okay. Okay, so I am hitting the power button, and as you can see, every time I hit the power button, uh, it is changing to set point seven there. Uh, we'll try the next one. Once again, it's changing. Uh, it'll be kind of different per control panel, but as long as you, as you see a, a change in voltage when you hit the power button, that lets you know that the uh, keypad is trying to is actually trying to turn uh, the main board on, which is in turn trying to turn the rest of the set on. So, so we know our power button is good and that's functioning correctly. Okay, so now we've checked the uh, the control panel buttons. Everything seems to be okay. The buttons are working uh, normally. Uh, as you can see, this set uh, is not made very well. Uh, we got a small main board, power supplied inverter board, and a uh, TCOM board at the top there. You can barely see it. But this set's a little different here. Uh, it, it doesn't have it. It doesn't use a power on signal for the power supply uh, to turn the rest of the set on. Uh, the power on signal is produced by the main board. Uh, but instead, when you plug it up, it's just in standby. Uh, you, the, all the voltages. All the voltages are already there, including the 24 volts for the inverter board. Um, so basically what this set does is the main board actually power on, power, power, powers on the inverter board and uh, turns the light blue on the bottom of the screen. So that's, that's pretty much how this, was work, this one works here. So basically, uh, I know it sounds kind of confused. What I'd actually do here is I'll actually zoom in to the plug that's coming from the main board to the power supply board. Uh, with the standby voltages and then the power supplies um, which is right here as you can see uh, the bottom plug there uh, uh, so as you can see we got uh, 12 volts 12 volts uh, ground the SNG is just ground uh, 5 volts 5 volts standby we know we got that uh, 5 volts 5 volts and we go up a little bit um, 
24 volts and signal ground okay um, okay which is also coming from uh, which is also being produced there um, but all of those voltages are definitely present okay uh, we'll just double check them and see okay so we can see uh, the first couple is 12 volts uh, we've got that there 12 volts okay uh, okay the 5 volts uh, another 5 volts we get that um, standby of course we have standby um, 5 volts and another 5 volts here okay and then also this is producing the 20 the power supply is producing the 24 volts uh, from this plug here uh, this plug here is actually going to the main board uh, it's just for the audio circuit okay now if we go up some more these plugs here of course these are going to the inverter board which is to that way to my left and of course we'll have the 24 volts for that already so as you can see even though the TV is in the standby mode with the red light uh, all the voltages are there uh, if you get one of these missing uh, it's a good chance you have a problem with the power supply, okay? Uh, but a lot of technicians will make a mistake and assume that the power supply is bad. Uh, but in this case, uh, everything seems to be okay with the power supply. So actually, uh, what we want to do here is we'll take a good look at the inverter board. We'll just squeeze on over there to the inverter board. Okay, you see this plug right here. We'll zoom in there. Okay. Actually, as you can see, these three wires here are actually going to the main board. Okay, and that is where you get your power on signal. Okay. It's going right to the inverter board, okay? So we'll just go ahead and check that. Okay. Um, this plug right here, uh, these wires are the same three wires that are going straight to the inverter board, okay? So we'll do some voltage checks on them, okay? So we should have uh, one that says 5 volt standby, and we should have one that's supposed to change when you hit the power button to uh, turn the inverter board on, okay? So let's see here. Um, Nothing there. Okay, we got five volts. And nothing there. So the one in the middle is a five volt standby. The other two, there should be a change. We'll hit the power button. So we'll try to scoot over here and hit the power button. Okay, that's not changing. Okay. That's the five volts. That's not changing. Okay. And that's not changing. Uh, I'm assuming whether one of these uh, pins are ground, so it's not supposed to change. But uh, one of them should definitely change to about 2.3 or, or 2.5 or 3.3 or something like that to uh, turn the inverter board on. So uh, with that in note, uh, we're just going to take into consideration that we have a bad main board. So we'll change it out and we'll see what happens, okay? Okay, we don't have anything at the top plug. Okay, of course. Uh, let's see, we'll go ahead and I hit the power button. Okay. Okay, now with the second pin, now before we had five volts on this pin, uh, now we don't have anything, uh, which probably means that uh, it's probably getting an overload, over voltage uh, circuit was probably activating the shutdown for the, for the set to shut down. So we'll go ahead and try that one and see what happens. We'll hit the power. Okay, uh, that did change to 5 volts. And as you can see, we have backlight and it went back to 3.2. Okay, good sign. And the next one is 3.2 again. Okay, 
So that is telling the inverter board to turn on. We'll turn the power back off and see if that changes. Okay, problem solved. Looks like that main board did work. Another thing I want to point out on these sets here is that uh, a lot of times, um, where is it? There is an E prime on these sets too, which in most cases um, is located right there. As you can see, the little eight legged E prime chip there uh, next to the micro. Located right there, that's your E prime. Okay, chip. Um, one thing that I've learned from experience is that if the TV, if the light is not changing at all, uh, it is not the EEPROM. Okay, uh, usually a, a hint that the, that the EEPROM is the only problem, and you can change those. You can get those at about 15 to 20 bucks off eBay or Shop Jimmy, and uh, you just got to have a little soldering skills. Uh, but they're fairly easy to put on. Uh, there are a few videos on YouTube on how to change them, so they're fairly easy. But one thing that I've learned, if the light does not change, it's not the EEPROM. Okay, if it stays red, or if the set is totally dead, which means no light, uh, it's not the EEPROM. But just to be sure, you want to make sure that you do not have any voltage on the EEPROM. If you don't have any voltage on the EEPROM at all, then put a new EEPROM in there. It's not going to solve anything, okay, because you're still not going to have any voltage to it. Okay, it needs voltage to work. You can't really check them, uh, maybe unless you have to use a scope, because uh, it basically de dealing with data, okay. And... Um, so, like I, like I said, a hint that the, e, that the e prom is bad on these sets is that the customer tells you, well, if I keep playing around with it, it'll come on. Sometimes it comes on, and sometimes it doesn't. But the light always changes from red to blue, okay, or from red to green, or however the TV is set up, okay? And uh, one very important thing that I want to note is that when you're replacing these main boards, uh, a lot of these sets have the same exact model number but use totally different main boards. To this day, I don't know why they do that. Um, so you cannot order main boards for these sets by just using the model number. You actually have to pull the board out of the circuit and look on the bottom of the board. As you can see, we're looking on the bottom of the board and these are the numbers. When they're replacing the main board, especially the E-Prime, you have to use these numbers here on this ticker. 1B1H. 1601 okay this number the second dash is really not that important and this here on the bottom this is the panel number LTA 460 usually the first two numbers are the size of the TV which is a 46 inch 460 HM03 okay do not use the number that T dot RSC8 dash 1B if you use that number and order a board like that, you're going to be very upset. Okay? You're going to have to send it back because it's, it's, it's going to be totally different. Okay? So that's about it. So let's keep up the good work, and uh, I'll see you soon on the other side.